بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ٹیکنیکلی ایکسپلینڈ ان دس لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی دی کرسٹل اوسیلیٹر ناؤ ون آف دی امپورٹنٹ کریکٹرسٹکس آف دی اوسیلیٹر از دی فریکوینسی اسٹیبلٹی دیٹ از اٹس ایبلٹی ٹو پرووائڈ کانسٹنٹ فریکوینسی انڈر ویرینگ کنڈیشنز ناؤ دی اوسیلیٹرز دیٹ وی ہیو ڈسکس سو فار وچ انکلوڈیڈ دی ایل سی اوسیلیٹرز اینڈ دی آر سی اوسیلیٹرز ان دوز اوسیلیٹرز The oscillator frequency may change due to the change in temperature. It may also change due to the slight variation in component values. So these oscillators do not exhibit greater frequency stability. But in applications where high level of stability is required, such as communication transmitters and receivers, crystal oscillators are the best choice. The crystal oscillator not only provides the high level of stability but also provides excellent selectivity. because the crystal used in the crystal oscillators has very high quality factor the q factor the few fa q factor is typically around 20000 and it can be as high as 10 raised to power 6 now crystal oscillator works on the principle of piezoelectric effect piezoelectric effect is found in piezoelectric materials in these materials whenever we apply mechanical stress or mechanical pressure a potential difference appears across the crystal and that potential difference is proportional to the mechanical stress or mechanical pressure similarly the reverse is also true that is the whenever we apply external applied voltage it will results in mechanical distortion in the crystal shape so whenever alternating voltage is a, is applied to these materials mechanical vibrations are set up in these materials now there are three ta three common uh, naturally occurring piezoelectric materials the rochelle salt the tourmaline the quartz the rochelle salt exhibits maximum piezoelectricity which means that for a given external applied uh, voltage it will show maximum vibrations but the rochelle salt is mechanically the weakest similarly we have tourmaline tourmaline has a greater mechanical strength but it has least piezoelectricity quartz is a compromise of this rochelle salt and tourmaline so the its mechanical strength and piezoelectricity lies in between the tourmaline and the rochelle salt also the quartz uh, is very inexpensive and is readily available that is why quartz is more commonly and more preferably used as a crystal oscillator as a piezoelectric material now this is the symbol of the uh, quartz this is the symbol of the quartz in the center we have the quartz material and these are two metallized electrons this and this are the metallized electrodes so we have a quartz material and we have two metallized electrodes now this quartz material can be represented by an electrical equivalent circuit in this e electrical equivalent circuit we have a series rlc leg which is in parallel with the shunt capacitance cm now here the c represents compliance so the capacitor c in this series leg represents compliance or stiffness of this crystal of this quartz and it depends on the elasticity of the quartz or the elasticity of the crystal so this capacitance is going to change with the elasticity of this crystal or this quartz the l represents the mechanical mass of the quartz So L is the mechanical mass of the quartz or of this crystal. The R represents the internal friction of the crystal. R represents the internal friction of quartz when it is vibrate vibrating. So this is the series RLC leg. Then we have shunt capacitance CM. This shunt capacitance CM exists because of the electrode plates. So this shunt capacitance CM exists because of the electrode plates, uh, electrode plates because of the support to this. crystal uh, structure because of the support to this quartz this shunt capacitance cm uh, exists so this shunt capacitance cm is because of the uh, mounting of the crystal uh, structure or the quartz structure now because we have series resonance leg in parallel with the shunt capacitance so now we are going to have two resonances one resonance condition and uh, condition occurs when the reactances of the series leg are equal the second second resonance condition will occur when the reactance of this series rlc circuit will be equal to the reactance of the shunt capacitance cm so we have two resonance condition the one resonance condition condition will occur when the reactance of the series rlc 
leg are equal in this case the impedance will be very low so in this series resonance condition the series resonance conditions occurs at lower frequency and this case the impedance will be very low and will be equal to r the other condition is the parallel resonance condition the parallel resonance condition occurs at the higher frequency and it occurs when the reactance of the series resonant leg equals the reactance of the shunt capacitor cm so when the reactance of the series resonance leg equals the reactance of the shunt capacitor cm we have parallel resonance condition the parallel resonance condition occurs at higher frequency and in the parallel resonance condition the crystal offers the high impedance to the circuit now this is crystal impedance versus frequency graph if you can have a look at the series resonant frequency the impedance is the lowest and in this case the series resonance frequency is equal to 1 by 2 pi under root lc where l, is l and c are the components of the series rlc leg as we further increase the frequency the crystal oscillator is acting as an inductive element at the parallel resonance frequency the frequency is given as 1 by 2 pi L into C prime where this C prime is actually the parallel combination of C and CM C is in the series resonance is this is in the series RLC circuit where, where CM is the shunt capacitance so this is equal to C plus CM divided by C into CM here C and CM are these components C is this component and CM is this component and if you can have a look the parallel resonance condition acts as a higher frequency than the series resonance condition. The series resonance condition occurs at lower frequency. Also at the series resonance condition the impedance is minimum. But in parallel resonance condition the impedance is maximum. And after the parallel resonance condition again the, uh, the crystal oscillator acts as a capacitive element. So the quartz crystal actually acts as a tank circuit and, and can be used as a feedback in oscillators. Now when this uh, quartz crystal is used as a feedback in series path it is called the series resonant oscillator and when this crystal oscillator or this quartz crystal is used as a crystal in parallel or shunt part then it is called the parallel, parallel resonant oscillator. So we have series resonant oscillator and parallel resonance oscillator. In this case, we have used the crystal oscillator in a series uh, a feedback path. That is why it is called the uh, series resonant oscillator. Now, this is series resonant oscillator because the crystal oscillator is used in a, uh, in a series feedback path. Now, we have resistors R1 and R2 which provides the voltage divider biasing. We have the emitter resistor which is bypassed by the capacitor CE which is the bypass capacitor. We have this C which actually blocks any DC uh, voltage from the collector to the base. And then we have the radio frequency coil uh, which allows a DC but blocks alternating current. So this radio frequency uh, uh, RFC coil blocks AC. And this capacitor blocks DC and allows AC and this RFC blocks AC and allows DC and the emitter we have used is the uh, common emitter configuration which provides a phase shift of 180 degree so we have used the common emitter configuration to provide a phase shift of 180 degree and then we have the crystal we have used the crystal oscillator as a feedback circuit which provides a phase shift of 180 degree so the overall phase shift is 360 degree now the uh, circuit frequency of oscillation is set by the resonant frequency of the crystal and its value is given as f is equal to 1 by 2 pi under root lc where lc are the components of this crystal so the crystal is used in a series feedback path that is why it is called the series resonant oscillator and at series resonant frequency this crystal is going to provide a very small impedance and the amount of feedback is going to be very greater so in this case we have used the crystal oscillator in a series feedback path that is why it is called the series resonant oscillator and the frequency of these this oscillator is set by the frequency of this crystal and then we have the parallel resonant oscillator in parallel resonant oscillator the crystal is used in a feedback path and that feedback path is going to be parallel 
So the crystal is used in the parallel feedback path. And at the parallel resonant operating frequency, the crystal acts as an inductive reactance of large value. So here it is acting as an inductor, that's why we have used, is, used it as a modified form of culprit oscillator. In culprit oscillator, we have two capacitors C1 and C2 and one induct inductive element. Now in place of this inductive element, I have installed the crystal oscillator. Why? Because at this parallel resonant frequency, this crystal oscillator acts as an inductive element. And again, we have the common emitter configuration which provides the phase shift of 180 degree and the rest of the phase shift, the rest of the 180 degree phase shift is provided by this feedback circuit. Here we have used the tank circuit as the crystal oscillator. We have used the voltage divider biasing where we have resistors R1 and R2 and we have emitter, emitter resistor RE. This radio frequency coil is going to block any alternating current coming from the VCC and it is only going to allow the direct current. So this is the parallel resonant oscillator where the crystal oscillator or the quartz crystal is used in a parallel feedback path or shunt feedback path. Thank you.